Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Sunday, February the 18th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I'm here to read the scriptures chosen for this Sunday, the first Sunday in Lent of year B of the three-year lectionary cycle. Sundays, we commonly have an Old Testament reading, a psalm, a New Testament reading, and a gospel reading. And that is what will happen today. We're going to begin with an Old Testament reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verses 8 to 17. It is written, Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, Behold, I establish my covenant with you and your offspring after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every beast of the earth with you, as many as come out of the ark. It is for every beast of the earth. I establish my covenant with you that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Our reading from the Psalms comes to us from Psalm 25, verses 1 to 10. Of David. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantedly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. Our reading from the New Testament comes from Peter's first letter. So 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 18 to 22. Peter writes, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey, when God's patience waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through water. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers having been subjected to him. Our last reading today comes to us from the Gospel according to Mark chapter 1, verses 9 to 15. Pardon me. Mark writes, In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open 
and the Spirit descended, descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The Spirit immediately drove Jesus out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised at its generous provision for us. And grant, Father, that through the power of your Holy Spirit, these words may be written in our minds and on our hearts and in our very souls, wherein they can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. This is our prayer to you for your glory, made in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Friends, I commend you for listening to the Word of God being read, and I thank you for allowing me to be the one to uh, provide this for you. It's a great pleasure and a great blessing for me to do so. Now, I've placed the references for all the passages read today in the description for this video, so you can easily look them up. Read these passages again for yourself and make note, contemplate, meditate on them. And I do pray you'll do that, and I also pray that uh, you'll join me again tomorrow when I will read the scriptures chosen for that day. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.